you are a star or celebrity, then I know a fan or man shall jump out of her tree. So look out, here comes Boy Named Kitty Tuck. You better run for the hills. She'll try any rooms till she gets your autograph. If you refuse, it could be your epitaph. You give her love, the Kitty Tuck. The year 1923. The place, the Coolidge Farm in Vermont. Calvin Coolidge replaces the late Warren Harding to become the 30th President of the United States. He's sworn into office by his own father. Calvin is a man of few words. It's great to be here, Lucky Bob. Thanks for having me. I never miss a chance to spread the word to the American people that communist spies are all around us, working against democracy. In the 1950s, people were worried about the spread of... Communism! The Red Menace! The power of film was not lost on the communists. The power of your breath is another story, P. You. Soviet cinema was booming. Its purpose was not for art, but for propaganda. To spread communist ideas and to keep the revolution alive. My good friends, loyal citizens, I hold here the names of known communists currently conspiring against the American way of life. Also in 1781, Catherine the Great ruled Russia. I'll say. <laughs> Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart presented his opera, A Domino Yo, King of Crete. What do you mean by that, son? Do you want communists infiltrating the good old U.S. of A? What? Are you a communist? Is that some kind of commie code word? All right, now we're getting somewhere. And for the record, do you renounce the Communist Party? Okay, moving on. Out! You're gonna love this one! Teddy Roosevelt's charging up San Juan Hill, and Fetch gave free him a tennis ball! Or, Teddy Roosevelt's riding a bucking bronco. Okay, you had me worried there for a minute, son. I thought you might be some kind of low-down commie agitator trying to destroy America. After the death of the communist leader Lenin in 1924, Joseph Stalin, the general secretary of the party central committee, crushed all of his rivals and became supreme dictator of the Soviet Union. Stalin is best remembered as a ruthless dictator who built the Soviet Union into a world power. All right, smart guy, you just bought yourself a file. I think you'll fit right in with your fellow comrades on my list. Greetings. You know, life of brutal dictator isn't always sunshine and lollipopsky. Sometimes it's a lonely job. But when I'm feeling cranky and a little blue, I sit around and consider the many things which make me happy. Communist sympathizers, you're all red! You lose. You'll pay for this. I'll see you all go to jail. Traitors, communists! <laughs> That's the end of next week. Pepper's Pep Rally. Be with us next week when Pepper's guest will be French mind Marcel Marceau.